Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So I am going to talk about ISC Bangalore admission notification which was announced few days back actually but since few days are left for the final days of this uh, uh, like admission process so I thought of making this particular video right. So uh, ISC Bangalore no uh, like I don't have to explain about the institute itself it does not require any introduction it's the best institute which you can do research in India. If you are planning to do research in ISC Bangalore, then the admission notifications are out now. You can uh, fill those to take admission over there. All you have to do is come to the official website of ISC Bangalore. I'll give you link in the description of this video. You can directly come up over here. You have to go to this admission section and uh, go to this announcement section, right? Once you go over there, you have to scroll down a little bit. Here it says that the admission notice for PG slash PhD uh, program for the academic year 2022 to 2023-2024 uh, uh, session is starting from August 2023 and also you can see that the dates for the application has been extended till 26th of March so 26th of March is the last date now to fill this form now let me show you how you have you can basically apply for this and what are the eligibility criteria for this first of all so if you link if you click on this particular link you will be able to download a PDF file which will look something like this. This says admission notice for PG slash PhD program for academic year 2023-2024. It's a 10 page PDF file, lot of information are there. I'll be just talking about the major things which you need to know in order to uh, apply, right? So how you can apply for this? They have mentioned that you have to go to the ISC website. Website is given to you. You have to go to the admission section and go to the programs and you can see that whether your program is listed or not okay whether the program in which you want to take admission is listed or not uh, then applicants possessing the educational qualification including those in the final semester year of their qualifying examination but expect to complete all the requirement for the award of their degree by 31st of july so if you are in the final year of msc uh, or in the final year of your course and you are about to submit it and you are about to finish that before 31st of july and uh, in that case you can take admission over here right and you can furnish the necessary certificates till 31st of october that is the extension period which they have given you to provide the certificates and all so i'll be talking about research program there are other programs as well like mtech program integrated phd program integrated uh, uh, msc program are there so you can read about them in the notification but i'll be just talking about research program that is phd uh, or mtech research so what are the departments in which they are offering these so phd in science faculty which include astronomy and astrophysics biochemistry uh, ecological sciences high energy physics inorganic and physical chemistry material research mathematics microbiology cell biology mo uh, molecular biophysics then comes your uh, development uh, developmental biology genetics right neurosciences organic chemistry physics and solid state and structural chemistry so these are the topics or these are the fields of sciences in which they offer research uh, for mtech again there are all the pro, uh, like engineering topics over here aerospace engineering atmospheric and oceanic science engineering you can read about them right there are some interdisciplinary uh, topics as well or areas as well in which they provide a uh, phd like biosystem science and engineering which offered by the center of biosystem science and engineering then the PhD in energy which is offered by interdisciplinary center for energy research then mathematical sciences which is offered by ISC mathematics initiative water research which is offered by interdisciplinary center for water research then cyber physics system um, and then climate change and then brain and artificial intelligence so these are some interdisciplinary areas in which if you want to do research you can apply for now what are the eligibility criteria so you should have a minimum of second class or equivalent in the following degrees second class means they are not asking you to have 60 percent above second class you all know first division second division so that's what they are asking okay so minimum of second class or equivalent in the following degrees as the applicable uh, as applicable to the individual department areas are eligible to apply now what are the degrees if you are in bachelor's degree in engineering that means if you want to do mtech in in that case uh, you should have a, a valid gate score okay that's the qualifying degree here and this is the qualifying national entrance test right uh, so you should have a valid gate score or net jrf okay now jrf is mandatory over here star they have applied 
now the next is masters in uh, masters degree in science or uh, masters degree in economics uh, geography psychology management commerce operational research computer science application so if you want to do phd and through um, msc in that case this is the for you so you should have a valid gate score or net grf is mandatory so either gate score or net grf among any two of these things any one is uh, if you have that is acceptable now masters degree in engineering technology and uh, architecture agriculture ph uh, pharmacy veterinary sciences for that again they require gate score and net grf or gpat any of these then for ms mba post they again require valid gate score or net grf and graduates of any course with a minimum duration of 4 year from any centrally funded technical institute including triple its in ppp mode with a minimum cgpa of 8 out of 10 or its equivalent okay in that case also you should have a gate score or net grf so depending upon what uh, area you want to do research depending upon that your uh, educational qualification is there for sciences this is the second point is what they, it will be more relevant now the gate gpat net grf other national entrance test passing certificate scorecard should be valid as of 1st of august 2023 so if you have qualified gate your gate score should be valid till this now uh, net grf in the, uh, includes joint csr ugc net for grf ugc net for grf dbt grf icmr grf jest and bhm uh research award inspire applicants must be uh, qualified for junior research fellowship to eligible to apply through net grf mode so that's what they are telling okay so if you want to apply for uh, via net grf mode in that case you should be qualified for grf or you can apply through gate as well right applicant applying through inspire mode must be in possession of valid provisional inspire offer so those who want to apply through inspire uh, you know, like certificate they should have a provisional certificate of inspire right now applicants who have qualified joint graduate entrance examination for biology that is jg bills this is for bio and life sciences students they are also eligible to apply the selection process is given very clearly that the candidates will be shortlisted for interview based on their performance in the national entrance test and or the qualifying degree as detailed uh, as mentioned in the detailed table above so they can either take uh, based upon your net okay score or based upon your degree you will be uh, like you you will be shortlisted for interview the selection is based on the performance in the interview right in some of the department the aptitude test preliminary interview will be preceding the interview final interview that means ki uh, basically your final selection will be based upon how you are performing in the interview in some of the department they might take additional test before the interview to shortlist for the interview right so this is about isc bangalore and now there are other courses for mtech engineering and all you can read about them i'll come a little down it says how you can apply so for applic uh, for applying for this you have to go to the admission process and then you have to click apply online to in order to apply i'll show you just now that how you can do that but let's talk about the application fees so for general obc Uh, and ews candidate application fees of 800 rupees is there for scst pwd candidates application fees of 400 is there for erp candidates uh, 2000 rupees is the application fees sponsored candidates from organization mentioned above are having uh, are, uh, they have to pay 800 rupees they are mentioned in para 2.1.5 you can read about them important dates as mentioned website opens on 1st of uh, february last date has been extended it was earlier 23rd of march but now it is extended till 26th of march okay so all the reservations and all the other points are mentioned over here you can read about them now i, I will take you to the website of isc bangalore and i will show you that how you can apply for this particular position all right so this is the official website as i have said you can come up to this from the uh from the link given in the description right you have to go to the online application process uh, option now here you have three options one is apply to post graduate pg research programs apply for post graduate course programs which includes mtech and m management and all mnc in life sciences is also offered and chemical sciences is also offered this has been recently started by rc 
then uh, applied uh, to undergraduate science program a okay, bachelor in sciences so basically uh, if you want to go for research or if you want to apply for phd in that case this is the one which you have to click okay so once you click on this they are going to ask you to fill your email address or application number and your password and then you can do so uh, i'll go for new register because i just want to show you that how you can register for this you have to fill your name you have to fill the password you have to again make the password you have to fill your date of birth your email address a set a security question you have to select then security answer and that's all you have you will be registered for this so let me quickly do this and show you how you can uh, go to the next step. okay so once you register and once you log in back again now they will ask you that which program you want to apply for okay so research programs i'm selecting just uh, you have options like phd integrated phd phd in mtech then phd in external registration program so i'll apply for phd and mtech now here they are going to ask for all the personal details okay i have just filled randomly so all the name email address all are random over here so now your uh, like you have to just fill the basic details about you and this is the first step once you fill that you will be taken to the next step where you have to fill all the academic details of yourself then they will ask for the detail of the qualification that which exam you have qualified and then academic achievements if you have any then national entrance test and then you have to review and submit okay so there will there is this section which i want to explain you this was academic achievement where you have to uh, mention if you have any research publication if you have attended any conference and workshop if you have any award or certificate if you have any you can mention about them if you don't have these are not mandatory field you can simply cl click on next is okay now comes your national entrance test they will ask you that which exam you have qualified so you can choose any one of them okay which exam you have qualified whether inspire joint csr ugc net for jrf dbt jrf icmr jrf ugc net for jrf nbhm just which exam you have qualified so if you are just gate qualified select gate so it says if if qualified in gate 2021 gate 2022 gate 2023 give your registration number omitting first two characters uh character paper code okay that means your registration number will be there and first code to character is the character code uh means your subject code that is cy or something so you have to remove uh, you don't have to give that you have to select which gate you have qualified you have to select the subject in which you have qualified then you have to give your roll number and how much score you have got so this is how you have to fill okay so and once you will be done the next step is only to preview and submit so this is how you have to fill these were the two steps which i have to explain because a lot of many students get stuck in these two steps so i hope these things are clear to you now i have filled this form randomly i'm not intended to fill this form completely because i am just doing just to show you that how the process is all right so that's it for this video please apply for this institute this is the best place from where you can do research in india it's uh, highly uh, highly requested and highly highly recommended that if you have a gate score if you have qualified gate score with a good gate score that means if your rank is anywhere between 500 600 and below uh, like if your rank is below 600 uh, for the gate exam in that case you can apply even if your rank is around 700 800 and if you have net along with your gate in that case also you can apply for it okay so and if you are jrf definitely you should apply so this is all about this particular video thank you so much for watching and if you have any other question you can ask in the comment section below that's all from my side thank you so much for watching see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care subscribe the channel for more such videos